Hey everybody and welcome to Zenfolio Live. I'm Robert with Zenfolio. Thanks for joining us today on the live stream. Today we're going to be talking about selling digital downloads with different usage license. So we're going to go through the process of creating digital products with different licenses like a personal use digital product, a commercial use, an online use only. I'll even talk about custom licenses um, and I'll show you how to add these to a price list and apply this to a gallery and make this available um, for your clients. Now, this is something you guys have probably heard me talk about from time to time here on Zenfolio Live, but I feel like I've never really shown you guys how to set this up all the way through to the end. It's something that we've kind of talked about just in different segments, and I wanted to kind of provide a full walkthrough of how to set this up. So if you want to sell di uh, digital products for different types of licenses, you can see exactly how to do that in the full process through. All right, so here we are in my Zenfolio account, and before we get started setting this up, I do want to mention that in order to get access to any of the selling features on Zenfolio, you do have to have a pro plan or higher. So if your account does not have this selling tab, then you'll need to reach out to the support team using the chat icon down here to talk to them about your upgrade options. All right, to get started setting up these digital products, first thing we need to do is go into the digital products feature. So click right on the word selling, and then you're gonna scroll down and click on digital products. All right, so we're going to click add product and create our first digital product. Now this first digital product is going to be a personal use single image download. So this will be something I send to my portrait clients to let them buy a full resolution digital download of one of their portrait images. So the first thing that I'm going to do is change this title to say personal use single image download. All right. Let me fix that eye because that is going to bug me. There we go. All right, we're going to leave this set to photos, but if you've never been in digital products before, you can create digital video products if you need to. The next thing we're going to do is look at the license. Now, I'm going to leave this license set to the built-in royalty-free personal use license, but there are some other options in here, and we're going to talk about some of those here in a second. Now, the really cool thing about this license feature is that when your clients go to purchase their digital products, during the checkout process, Zenfolio presents the license that you have applied to that digital product to your clients. Now, I know they probably don't read it all, but before they can actually purchase that digital download, they do have to check a box that says they agree to the terms of that license. And then when Zenfolio emails them their digital downloads, we also send them a copy of that license text as well. All right. For image dimensions, I'm going to leave this set to original photo. That's going to let them download the actual file that I upload, but there are some other options in here that we'll be talking about a little later on. Next, I'm going to make sure to uncheck this allow customers to leave a note when purchasing. I'm a firm believer in keeping my clients buying experience as simplified as possible. So I like to remove any extra options that I don't find absolutely necessary. For the categories, we're just going to leave this set to downloads. The next thing that we're going to do is talk about the number of items required for the product. Now, in my opinion, this is the most important part of setting up your digital product. This is what controls how many photos your clients can download after they pay for this product one time. So with this being a single image download where we want them to pay per photo, we're going to leave both of these numbers set to one. However, later on, I'm going to show you how to set up a full gallery download and we'll be changing those numbers later on. Scrolling down, there are some optional settings. If you'd like to upload a preview image, you can. This is totally optional. I prefer not to, so I'm gonna skip these steps and just click Save. Okay, so now that we have our personal use digital download created, let's create a single image commercial use download. This is going to allow your clients to buy a specific image for with commercial usage licenses attached for you. Now, I could start from scratch, but I'm gonna use a lot of the same settings that I used on this personal use one, just changing the license and the title. So rather than starting from scratch, I'm just gonna duplicate this one and modify the settings that I need to modify. Okay, so since I duplicated that personal use, there's only two sections here that I need to modify. First would be the title. We need to see to change that to say commercial 
use single image download and then we just need to modify the license so we're going to click in the license box we're going to change that to be royalty free commercial use and then i don't even need to scroll down i know that this is already set for a single image download we're going to go right up here and click save Okay, so now that we have our personal use and our commercial use digital product created, let's create a social media use download. This will be something our clients can use on Facebook or something like that. So we're going to click on add product this time and we're going to start from scratch. All right, so we're going to go ahead and change this title over. We'll say social media use uh, digital download. We're going to leave this as a photo. We're going to change the license to a unlimited online use, no printing. Now you could use a custom license. And again, I am going to show you guys how to set up a custom license here in just a second. For this, we are going to be changing the image dimensions. So rather than leaving this to original photo, because I don't want somebody to pay a social media use license and get a or social media use fee and get a original image downloaded we need to downscale this image so this is what we're going to use these image dimension options to change the final size that the of the image that the client gets so i'm going to click this drop down and then you could go with a low resolution one megapixel option if you want to i prefer to go with the largest dimension up to uploaded size option because this actually lets me put in a dimension that I want. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, Zenfolio, before you email my client their images, I want you to downsize it so that it's 1200 pixels on its longest edge. And our system will actually downscale the image proportionately. It'll maintain the aspect ratio. Your image is not going to be skewed or distorted. It's just going to be on the longest edge, 1200, and then whatever the correct aspect ratio or proportion is for the other dimension it's going to downscale to that all right we're going to leave this as a single image download we're not going to worry about the preview images so i'm just going to go up to the top and click on save okay so now let's create a digital product that has a custom license agreement attached to it now before you can do that you have to upload that custom license agreement so to do that you're going to click on licenses right here all right, and then in this section, you can actually review Zenfolio's built-in licenses and read what they say. If you want to modify them at all, you can actually duplicate them and modify them. But to add your own custom license, you're going to scroll down to the bottom and click Add License. All right, and then the first thing you're going to do is give this license a name. So let's say we're creating this license for editorial use for our images. So we'll say Editorial Use. We're going to go down here and just give it a quick description. Um, you may say like magazine use or whatever you want to put in here. The description is what you're going to see when you're selecting the license. It's not what your clients are going to see. The license text is what your clients are going to see. So this is where you would actually paste the text of the license. All right. Once you have that, you're going to go down to the bottom and just click save. All right. And then we're just going to go back to our list of products. And then we'll create a product to use that license on. So we're going to click on add product. We're going to go ahead and give this a name. Now I'm going to make this a full gallery download. So I'm going to say full gallery download. We'll say editorial use, editorial use, full gallery download. That's what we'll call this one. All right. And then we're going to go down here, leave the product type set to photos, change this license over. So I'm going to click here and you'll notice that it's going to have the editorial use or my custom license in that drop down now. So I'll select that option. We're also going to go ahead and just leave these to original photo. And then this is where I'm going to change the number of items required for the product. Now I'm going to leave the minimum number set to one because I don't want to put a low level cap on this. For the maximum number, I'm going to put the most photos that I would want to let somebody download out of a single gallery. So for instance, if I know that my galleries are never going to have more than 500 photos, I might put like 600 photos in here just to give me a little wiggle room. And then most importantly, we're going to check this autofill from entire gallery option.
it's really important that you check that option. If you forget to uncheck that option, then your clients have to drag every single image that they want into this product. As long as you have that autofill option checked, Zenfolio is going to auto populate all of the images from that gallery into this full gallery download for your clients, kind of in a one click solution. So then we're just going to go back up to the top and click save. All right, so our next step is to take these digital products that we've created and apply them to a price list. But just to recap really quick, we've created a single image download for personal use, one for commercial use, one for social media use, and then we created a full gallery download for editorial use using a custom license that we uploaded into our Zenfolio account. So again, next, the next step to this is going and adding these to a price list. Now you can create a price list specifically for these digital products. That way you can apply them to galleries that only have these options available, or you can add these products to an existing price list, which is typically what I recommend that you do. But for this training, we're just gonna add these to a price list by themselves. So we're gonna click right on the word selling, and then we're gonna go down and click on price list. And then I'm gonna create a blank price list. And the first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and just give this price list a name. So I'm just gonna call this one digital products demo. Again, you can add these digital products to an existing price list with print products already there. And that's typically what I recommend. But just for this training, I'm going to show you how to create a price list with just the digital products on it. All right. Next, we're going to click on add products. And the first time you click that, you'll usually see a screen that looks like this that says all vendors. To get to your digital products, all you need to do is click right up here on all vendors. Click the bottom option. This will say something like your studio name or something down here at the bottom. A good photographer is just the demo name of this account. You're gonna click on here, click on downloads, and then you'll see all of your digital products listed here and you can select those just like this and then scroll down and click add selected products. All right, so now that we have our digital products in our price list, all we need to do is give these a price. Now I do wanna put out a word of caution. Any of the numbers that you see me throw out here are not pricing suggestions. You guys are located all over the world. I would have no idea where to begin to price digital products in your area. These are just numbers that I'm putting in here to do the tutorial. So let's say for that uh, editorial full gallery download, we're gonna do uh, 800. Let's say for the social media use, maybe we'll do $10. For the commercial use single image download, let's do uh, 400 and for a personal use, we'll do 35. All right. And that's all we need to do. Next, we're going to go down here to the bottom and click save. That's going to save that price list. And then we just need to apply it to a gallery to take a look at it from a client's perspective. Okay. So now with our price list saved, we just need to go back and apply it to a gallery. So we're going to click on photos. Okay, so back on the photos page, we're going to click on a gallery. I'm going to use this landscape gallery. Then we're going to go to price list. We're going to say allow ordering from my price list. And I'm just going to apply that digital products demo and click save. Okay, so now let's take a look at this gallery from a client's perspective. And it is important that you know how to do this. You can't simply do it by clicking preview. You need to go to the client link. And so to do that, you're going to click on access. Then you're going to go down to sharing and click right here to copy the gallery link. And then I'm in Google Chrome, so I'm going to go file new incognito window and open this up in an incognito window where I can look at this like a true client would see it. All right, so here's my incognito window. I'm just pasting in the link and we're gonna go check this out from a client's perspective. All right, so here we are in the gallery and all we need to do is click on an image. All right, so over on the right-hand side, you can see all of our digital products over here. There's our editorial use, our social media use, the commercial use and the personal use. So really quickly, just to show you how these work, the first one I'm gonna do is the editorial to show you how that full gallery download works. So when I click on this right here, you can see it's taken all of the images in the gallery and added it to this digital product for me. And then all I need to do as a client is click add to cart. All right, and then if I wanna use one of the other digital products with a different license, I just select that and that goes right into my cart. 
And then the last thing I want to show you guys is if we go to our cart, I want to let you see what the client sees whenever they're purchasing these digital images where they actually get to review the license agreement. So we're going to click on go to cart. And then I'm going to click proceed to checkout. Now, at this point, if your client has an account, they can go ahead and sign in or they can register for one, but they can also check out as a guest. All right, and then on this screen is where they're going to see that digital license agreement. Now, we added two separate digital products with different license agreements, so we are going to have to do this twice. The first one is the editorial using that custom license agreement that I made. So I know that they probably don't read all of this, but they do have to check this little box that says, I have agreed to the terms of the license. Then they can click continue. And here's the license agreement for the royalty-free personal or commercial use digital commercial use digital product that we added to our card. So the client would have to agree to this one as well. After this point, they would be able to place their order and check out. And then when your clients complete the checkout process, Zenfolio will email them their digital downloads along with a text file of the license agreement that they agreed to.